Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking about moonology. That's right, we have our last quarter moon in the sign of Taurus, and that's July 31st through August 8th. So let's talk about kind of the moon, and this is kind of the moon energy itself. This is kind of like, what have you been thinking about since the new moon and going through it with the full moon, kind of releasing anything that's brought, blocking you at that time. And now the last quarter moon is kind of like, do we feel safe about achieving what we want to achieve or coming through with what we're about to deal with or what's going to come up of this? It's one of those. This can also bring kind of this fear of success or fear of failure out in different people. And they are different ones. They're not exactly the same. So it's one of those. This is a great time to understand you're drawing this in and so you have the opportunity to make the changes that you want to see right now so let's talk a little bit about this taurus energy and it's going to kind of give us this really craving for stability for balance and it's not just in one area of our life it's going to be family career uh, friends, all of that is going to kind of feel like it's pulling on us. And what we really want during this time frame, during the Taurus moon, is that we want support for us, a support for what we want to do or help or assistance from others to help us with what's going on. And that doesn't always happen. So make sure that you're voicing what you really, really want or what you really want to see happen. So let's pull a couple of angel cards and add a little bit of energy to this so we can get a little deeper understanding during this time frame for us. So the first card I get is listening and I've done a whole video on listening and so many times people say, that, oh yeah, I'm really listening, but a lot of times they're really not and sometimes we're not doing it for them as well. So make sure that you take the time to listen to other people and that will give them the opportunity to take time to listen to you. Let's pull another one here. This one's literally jumping out of the deck. Balance, of course, we need balance. It's one of those, so many times our schedules can be um, so one-sided or so lopsided that we're doing like work, 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 but we're not really spending time with our friends and family or we're spending too much time with our friends and family and not really doing the work that we should be doing. It's always kind of a, a strange phenomenon to have perfect balance. So I don't feel like we ever get there. I do think that it's always something that we're striving for. So balance is something that you should be striving for, not going, oh, it's a final destination. It's actually part of the journey. So make sure that you are finding the balance that you require in your life. Enchantment. Enchantment can be so much fun. When you're um, kind of enchanted with things, it's kind of like this, miracle magical time of just like I'm so excited to learn more I'm so excited to what's coming in at me and this can be in many different areas of your life and that enchantment kind of just makes us fall in love with what's going on the people around us and make sure that you're opening up to that energy as well so make sure that you're really opening up to that energy this is my last one and it's kind of popping out in a couple of different directions to get it to me celebration Hopefully the, the goals that we set at the new moon um, and then we released any um, barriers or bl blockages at the full moon, now we can see that's coming into kind of like our vision in the last quarter moon because all of a sudden in a few days, it's going to be the new moon and we should be setting new goals and healthy um, achievements. What do we want to achieve? What do we want to do in our life? What do we want to create or go through? That's a really, really good time to really rethink what we want to bring into us. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I know that we'll be talking again soon.